Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquin, myself Arnab Kundu. Today I will discuss user defined function in C language. Okay, so we already know there are lots of built in function like printf, like scanf, like getch, like clrscr. Okay, but how do you write user defined function or how do you declare a user defined function in C language? So we will discuss today. Okay, so go to the computer screen. Today's topic, user defined function in C language. So actually we are know in C there are lots of built-in functions like printf, like scanf, like getch, like clrscr and lots, lots more. The same way user can define their own function and these functions are known as user defined function. Okay. So actually user defined function has three parts. The first part is known as function declaration or function prototype. Second part is known as function call. And the third part is known as function definition or body of the function. Okay. Within an user defined function, it depends whether arguments are present or not and whether a value is returned or not. Okay, on that basis, it is somehow categorized and there are actually five types of user defined function we can write. The first one, function with no arguments and no return values. Second one, function with arguments and no return values. Third one, function with arguments but one return value. And fourth one, function with no arguments but return a value and fifth one function that return multiple values. So go for an example to define a user defined function. So at first suppose we write here the header file hash include stdr.h and then suppose we define a user defined function add. So we are right here void and provide add and now we want to provide some argument. So that's why we are provide int comma int means we are providing two integer okay so this is the part actually is known as the function prototype or function declaration okay and after we just write the main function means the body of the main function int a comma b okay and after that suppose we are write printf enter two numbers Actually, here we want to add two numbers. After that, we scan these two variable. So just write percent d percent d, and we write here ampersand a comma ampersand b and close it. Okay. Now we call the function. So write add and just send argument a comma b, and put here semicolon. Okay. And after that, we just close it okay so that means this is the part is the function call now we write the third part is the function definition so write void add and suppose here write in c comma int d okay and after we just define its body we just write int s means we define a variable then write s equal c plus d and then just print the result just write sum equal percent d and provide a new line and then just write s and just close it by semicolon so for user defined function add is concerned this is the first part is a function declaration or function prototype this is the function call and this is the function definition or function body so we save that c source code and execute it so what happened we get a prompt enter two numbers in the console and suppose provide 10 space 20 and space enter so you get sum equal to 30. So what happened actually this is the part the function call and here whatever the argument we are sending these are actually known as the actual argument okay and this argument is just sent within this definition whatever I provide in C and in D means the value of A just stored within the value C and the value of B just stored within the 
variable d. So here c and d actually the former argument. So in function call the arguments are known as actual argument and within the function definition the arguments are known as formal argument. So actually this is the example of function with arguments but no return type because the return type is void. Void means nothing. Okay. We talk about the another type of function. So here the function have arguments list and also the function returns some value. So here we take an example this particular program and we provide a function name at uh, this is a function declaration or function prototype where we provide int as a return type and they are provide two integer as argument. So within the main we define three variable s a b. So same way a is 10 b is 20. Now this 10 and 20 just sent as an argument within that function add. So what happened this function will call a value is stored within the variable c and b value is stored within the variable d. And after what happened we write return c plus d. So it should add. So 10 plus 20 will be 30. Now this 30 will be returned because the add function of the return type int. So it returned and it's stored within the variable s. And after we print the sum equal percent d and the value of s will be print means 30 will be print. Okay. So we just save that file. So suppose put a name example 28.c and press enter and just execute this C program. So we get sum equal to 30. So this is the another category of your function. Okay. So other categories is also there. So you can try in your own way. And the next example I will provide when a function return multiple values. Okay. Now we talk about the last category of the function types. So that means it returns multiple value means when a user defined function returns multiple value. So just write here hash include within angle bracket suppose write std io dot h and after suppose we are defining a function and suppose write here void and also provide the same name add and now provide int asterisk comma int asterisk means now we are sending as argument as a pointer okay now we define the main function and just within the body we write here suppose write int a comma b okay and provide a equal to 10 comma b equal to 20 okay now we want to print that value so I just write printf and just write a equal percent d comma b equal percent d and provide a new line and then just write a comma b okay we want to swap the values of a and b okay and now we call the function add and just provide ampersand a comma ampersand b okay and after just provide the semicolon and after that again we want to print the value of a and b okay so just write same way a equal to percent d comma b equal to percent d new line and just write a comma b and after that just provide semicolon okay and now we just write here the definition of the function just write add and just write here int asterisk c comma int asterisk d and after that we are providing the body so here we are just take a third variable suppose take t int t and just write t equal asterisk c next line asterisk c equal asterisk d and next line asterisk d equal t okay means we take a third variable and we want to solve it actually what happened here a and b have the value 10 and 20 so it should print at first a equal to 10 b equal to 20 and after that we are sending the address why because we are using the pointer here as an argument so that's why the ampersand a means address of a and address of b and is just stored within that pointer c and d respectively so t equal to asterisk c after asterisk c equal to asterisk d and asterisk d equal to t so it's just swap a and b okay so if you save that file and put a name example 27.c and press enter then execute the c program so what happened at first we get a equal to 10 b equal to 20 but after this function call 
we got a equal to 20, b equal to 10. Means virtually the user defined function add returns two value because after call a and b value will be interchange. That means a and b value will come from the user defined function at that means it returns virtually more than one value. So this is the example of multiple return using pointer because should remember for a return is concerned we can write only one return statement we never write return a comma b it's never written in c so we can write only return a semicolon or return b semicolon in that way but if we return more than one value then we should use this pointer and through pointer we can return virtually multiple values okay i hope that you have understood today's topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arquin thank you and bye bye